like a killer in the nighttime. Choice weighs heavy on my brow. Do I break the circle like a malcontent with no one there to take my fall? Or hide within my castle? Quell the pulse of distant drums? Or should I fret about tomorrow? If tomorrow comes at all, so get it up, lay it down, look around. Oh, right now, keep it up, lay it down. It's all right now, it's all right now. Just give it up, lay it down. It's all. Uh, on your journey, you will meet people of all ethnicities, all racial genres. You're going to meet people who will believe in what you're doing. Those who think that you're, you're literally crazy for walking mm -hmm. to try to meet and learn people. But it's going to be an experience that you will never, ever forget. You know, and from, I'll tell you this, on behalf of Cathedral of Hope and the family who you all have not met, that we pray your journey as you meet people. As right now, this weekend celebrates, what, 50 years of Dr. Martin Luther King's mm -hmm. March on Washington. You're starting on a great day so that you can walk the countryside to learn how people really think, what people really believe, and what is their vision for themselves, for their families, and for their city, state, and our country. It's important. And yeah. as I'll say this to you three, as you walk this, this journey, every man has to have a vision. If a man doesn't have a vision for himself, he can't have a vision for his children, for his wife, for his family, for his community, for his home, mm -hmm. for his city, state, than his country. I believe that the reason that he planted me back here after 21 years of active duty, chaplain's assistance duty, to get back here to raise up the cultural awareness, spiritual awareness, and just to bring people together for a common cause and for the common cause of helping other people. For no tradition, no political uh, bureaucracy, no gain of any financial standpoint, it's about the people. And that's what we should be about as a country and we're not. This is the center of the United States, and this is where the core can be. I like to say Tennessee is God's unspoken heaven on earth, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Sir, this is Matt, Michael, and Tim. They're, how are your feet? They're doing they're pretty good. Up. They're getting there. You're Matt. Matt. Michael. Tim. Hey, Tim. Now, where'd you start? Uh, we started at Meme and Shelby Forest State Park. And where are you going to end up? Mountain City. I did that, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other way around. Actually, I started in Maryville. Okay. And walked to Mountain City. Oh, wow. And then back to Memphis. Okay. It took me from January 26th to July 6th. Okay. How many miles were you doing at a stretch? Well, not too far. I mean, because I was trying to shake a thousand hands a day and I was mm -hmm. spending the night with people. Yeah. You know, I, I find, as I, I mean, as you can imagine, I, I, I was some time, it was 1978 when I did that. I was 37 years old. And um, 
but the number of people who have stories about that, who come out and mm -hmm. say, here's a picture of me when I was a little, you know, five yeah. year old, or you stayed at my grandpa's house. Uh -huh. I mean, it just put me in touch with all kinds of, Absolutely. You create all these relationships that have stuck mm -hmm. with me all these years. Okay. Um, describe a Tennessee. Independent. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a Tennessee. Uh, there are lots of different kinds of Tennesseans now. I mean, I'm an eighth, I'm a seventh generation Tennessean, which is a person my age. That's about as many generations as you can have, unless you're a Native American. My grandson, who we baptized in a creek on Saturday uh, in East Tennessee, is a ninth generation Tennessean. I think a Tennessean is, uh, for the most part, a cultural conservative, somebody whose lifestyle and beliefs are pretty rooted to the ground and usually to the religious faith and with respect for other people and, and willing to tolerate a lot of differences among people. I think Tennesseans are independent in the sense that they want to be left alone and they'll, they'll leave you alone too. If you want to live a little differently or be a little different, that's all right. T for Texas, T for Tennessee, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, T for Thelma. If you don't want me, mama, you should all have to stop. If you don't want me, mama, you should all have to stop.